we can have a negative perspective toward our spouse, toward the marriage, that'll drive the marriage in a negative direction. Or we can have a holy and a godly perspective because the thing is, there's the accuser of the brethren who wants to blame and shame and and point out the faults of the spouse. But then there's Holy Spirit, right? Holy Spirit is the intercessor, the reconciler, the comforter. Who are we listening to? What spirit am I of? What's going on inside of me? Which spirit is speaking into me? Which one do I believe? Right, in every marriage you're going to have conflict. So it's not that we're trying to achieve a conflict free marriage, we want to use the conflict to our advantage and realize that every conflict that we go through is meant to actually bring us closer if we use it correctly, right? And so if you look at that, there's something to be found, a strength and a power that's to be found in the conflict that that can bring a unity. God made us different and he made us different for a reason because we're both going to contribute something very different and we should feel concerned if the marriage is skewing over toward the he or skewing over toward the she and isn't a great blend of we because God put us together to become one, not to stay two in the marriage.